Um, so as a lawyer, I would mention two particular legal developments um, around gender reassignment law and around gay marriage or equal rights marriage as being particularly important. Um, but for me, uh, law isn't an end in itself. It's about the difference that law makes to people's lives and society as a whole. Um, and in that regard, I think the big thing that's happened in the last few years is that we're finally, it seems to me, beginning to turn the corner on embedding equality and human rights values in society as a whole. Um, not in every corner of society, but certainly in public life. And I would mention things like um, the greater way in which uh, members of the gay community and trans uh, people can uh, live their lives in public, the way in which uh, racism and homophobia in sports being tackled, celebration around the Paralympics, um, the recent fury around uh, uh, sexual harassment in the workplace, all of those things to me show um, a greater recognition that um, uh, we need to bring to an end uh, the, the, the denial of rights and the denial of equality that's persisted for far too long. So I think that's a, a big shift in the last 10 years. Um, so I think we need to um, take care to hang on to the uh, hard-won uh, legal rights and entitlements that people now have and, and so on. Um, but I think more fundamentally we need to carry on the process of um, getting law to actually make a difference to people's lives. So it's not just what happens at the highest public level, it's what, also what happens in every workplace, in every uh, school, in every golf club, whatever it may be. Um, the way people actually live their lives um, in all parts of the country. And I think there are particular uh, systemic problems like um, poverty and social mobility which are, uh, really need tackling now which um, there's been progress but there's a lot more to go. Um, I think the Commission is a key player in um, making sure that the laws that Parliament passes actually uh, have effect in the real world, they're not just uh, words on paper. Um, I think the Commission has a number of ways of doing that. It has a very strong role in educating and informing people about their obligations and their rights, and I think that's um, something that's worked really well in the last few years. But the Commission also have very specific roles in investigating and enforcing and challenging um, problems where they arise, where the Commission finds them, where people bring the Commission's attention. Um, and I think that's a unique role and it's one the Commission has done successfully in the past and I think the Commission has an absolutely fundamental position in doing that going forward. Um, because otherwise the laws that Parliament passes will simply uh, sit on the statute books and nothing will change uh, for real people's lives.